Hi, thank you so much for joining me for Lip Balm Battles. So I actually recorded the trials to this prior to getting sick or kind of right on the verge. Um, so I just wanted to go through what I used. So today or this time we were testing the By Terry Balm de Rose in the tub, which we did test before um, up against the Sicily Nutritive. And this actually came out the winner uh, from that battle uh, because it was just a bit more moisturizing. And then we paired it with the By Terry Balm de Rose in the Flacinet. So this is um, with a um, doe foot applicator. And it is, let me just put the, let me swatch these for you guys real quickly. Um, sorry, I have a little makeup swatch there. So here's the Flacinet. So you can see that it is going to be a lighter texture and it is, you know, it's not super thin or anything. You can definitely feel it on there and it feels, um, it's not really that sticky on your lips, but there is a little bit of stickiness, so it doesn't feel like it's going away. And then this is the inside of the tub and you can see this one, it's actually hard to see on on here, but I think it's a little bit pinker, just slightly. I don't think you can really tell when you um, spread it out, um, but the formula is a little bit thicker, a little bit maybe like a milkier pink. But um, overall, when you touch both of them, they both feel fair, fairly similarly on the hand swatches, but on my lips, um, this one does feel thicker and this one <laughs> feels thinner. So go ahead, um, you can tune in now for the day-by-day um, -day comparisons and I'll be back at the end with my verdict. Thanks. Okay, so today we are going to start a test with the By Terry Balm de Rose and this is the one in the tub and I have tested this before but I'm going to be comparing it to the Balm de Rose in the, uh, what, what do they call this? It's like the lip gloss form. So we'll be comparing the two of these. So I'm gonna start off with the tub. So it's a no makeup day. You can see that I just did my skincare. My face is still red from all of the rubbing. And if we look at the condition of my lips, I do have a little cut here. Um, I have to admit, I did, I peeled it earlier. <laughs> so um, other than that, it's smooth. They are exfoliated, um, but you can see that I do have a little area that needs some repair there. All right, so this texture here, this is a very creamy texture and it is pretty thick and it's very moisturizing. So if you're interested, I did test this, I forget, I think against the Sisley Nutritive. So that one is up. And I'm gonna apply this with my fingers um, because I did just freshly wash my hands, but technically you should use like a spatula or something. This did not come with one, um, but when I use it, I make sure that I always use clean fingers and I do not travel with this or put it in my purse or anything. I just, I leave this at home and, you know, I use it when I know I can wash my hands thoroughly. So, mm -hmm very creamy texture. There is a strong rose scent to it. I really like the rose scent personally. Rose scents are one of my favorites. <laughs> um, find them very calming, relaxing, and you know, they remind me of like the old age Hollywood films like Katherine Hepburn and um, Audrey Hepburn, Cary Grant. And I personally really love <laughs> watching all of those old movies. So this just kind of gets me kind of, um, you know, it, it just kind of brings me back to some of those, you know, I would say memories, but you know, I wasn't alive at that time. But um, yeah, I really do enjoy this for that. However, since it does have a strong growth scent, I typically only use this at night or, you know, on a day where I know I'm just gonna be staying home and relaxing if I could settle down with a good book. So overall, great texture. I'll be back later with an update. Thanks so much. Okay, so it's the morning after and I just wanted to show you my lip condition. And you can see that this little cut has gotten better. It's still 
technically there. I can't feel it or anything, um, but I still see a little, you know, extra look as the skin hasn't fully healed, but it's not, um, it's actually just missing layers of the skin. So it's just a little darker, but it has um, definitely gotten better. My skin is um, smooth and it doesn't feel dry at all. I have like the thinnest layer left of the balm on. So like not enough that when I rub my lips together, I feel any slip, but enough that it feels moisturized still. So thanks. Okay, so today we're going to be starting the um, By Terry Balm de Rose in with the applicator. I can't think of what it's called right now, <laughs> but um, as you can tell, I just got a shower. I haven't even combed my hair. Um, lips are smooth, but I do have like a few dry patches back here, like I pretty much always do, and, um, but they are smooth and there aren't any like cuts or anything like that right now. So... <clears throat> Just like the one in the pot, this has a strong rose scent, but you can see that it is a thinner texture. And, um, you know, it leaves a nice shine. So I often wear this one, um, you know, I put like a thin coat of this on prior to lipstick or sometimes after a lipstick, you know, and so forth. So, um, yeah, there is that application and I will be back later. Thanks. Okay, so I just got up after wearing the um, flaccidet version of the Bomb, Bomb de Rose from By Terry. And, um, you know, it's basically, I don't really feel, maybe there's a thin layer left, but it's, it's nothing you can really feel when you rub your lips together. Um, and my lips are essentially in the same condition they were in when I started. So I still have a few little dry patches here. They don't feel like dry or, or, well, I mean, they're dry patches, but I mean, they don't feel like they're flaking or about to come off or anything like that, but they're not really any better than they were before. And um, overall though, my lips seem to be in the same condition they were in when I started. So thanks. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back and Let's go through uh, the contestants. So the Balm de Rose in both varieties, uh, they do have a rose scent to them. It is a bit stronger in the tub than it is in the flacinet. And um, when you put them on your lips, the tub version does feel thicker than the flacinet version. So the flacinet's more like a lip gloss um, whereas this is more of a cream. So, um, this is definitely thicker, uh, in texture. So overall for moisturizing capabilities, <laughs> the top wins. So it's just, it is thicker. It's more moisturizing. Um, one thing that may or may not be a drawback is the rose scent is stronger in this. For me, I don't typically wear it during the day. Um, you know, with, like with makeup and things like that, just because the scent is a little strong for me throughout the day, but I love to wear this at night. And actually while I was sick, this is the lip balm that I used over uh, overnight every day. Actually, I wore it during the day as well um, to kind of keep my lips in decent shape <laughs> when I remember to get around to using lip balm. So this helped a lot. So this is the winner for moisturizing capabilities and healing. The Flacinet version, um, this is really nice. Actually, one of my favorite things to use this for is, you know when you wake up and your lips are kind of dry or after you've gotten out of the shower but you're not doing makeup for a while, put a light layer of this on, it actually kind of sinks into your lips and then it makes applying like your lip products um, you know, it's just a smoother, but it actually does seem to sink into my lips. It doesn't seem to just kind of fade and go away. Um, my lips actually do look better after, <laughs> after applying this. So, and you know, there's no like residue or anything coming off my lips. So I feel like it's sinking in essentially. So, um, that's my favorite use for this. This is a lighter version and it does have moisturizing capabilities, but it sinks in pretty quickly. So when I wore this for the day test, I had to reapply this constantly, like every one to two hours. 
So I was frequently reapplying this. And I mean, you can see, I actually can see like spots on the tube. I haven't had this. Well, I mean, I've had it since like somewhere around right before Christmas, but you know, it's not like I use it daily. So I feel like I should have more than this left, but I really went through this pretty quickly. Um, so just a note that this one, you know, it doesn't have a lot of staying power, but it does have healing properties and it is very nice and emollient. Another thing that I like to use this for is more as like a topper or something, you know, if I'm wearing a lip product and my lips are feeling a little dry, sometimes I'll just top that with this to, um, you know, make my lips feel a little bit more moisturized. So this I think has its purpose and I really like it. It does have that rose scent, which I really enjoy, but it is a lighter version of this scent. Yeah, it's not quite as overpowering, which for me, I, I like for uh, daytime use as well. But again, the tub version is more moisturizing and just overall does a better job of keeping my lips in good shape. So this is the winner. And thank you so much for tuning in. So I hope this was helpful. And um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much and have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.